For classic matches done in the same style as this one, go over to patreon.com forward slash drunk redhead. Previously on my World Cup qualifying roundup, we were watching South America Part 6, including this screamer from Philippe Coutinho of Brazil to help them to a 3-0 win over Argentina. Well, you know what, we're going to stick with South America now we're back. Part 7, and we'll start with Argentina again against Chile at the Estadio Monumental Antonio Vespucci Liberti in Buenos Aires. Early in the game, Angel Di Maria was brought down to give Argentina a penalty. It was taken by Messi and he scored in the 16th minute. The final score was 1-0 to Argentina. Over to two of the lower ranked sides in the qualifying competition now, Venezuela and Peru who faced off at the Estadio Monumental de Maturin. The home side took the lead on 24 minutes thanks to a close range header from Villanueva. That lead was doubled five minutes from half time when Otero smashed in a free kick from a mile away. Less than 30 seconds into the second half and Peru found a way of getting back into the game thanks to a goal from Carrillo. Peru were level in the 64th minute when a fantastic header from Paulo Guerrero made it 2-2 and that is how the game ended. Over to the Estadio Metropolitano, Roberto Melendez in Barranquilla now for Colombia versus Bolivia. With 10 minutes left to play, Cuadrado was brought down in the area giving Colombia the opportunity to take the lead. James Rodriguez stepped up to take it and blasted it straight at the keeper. Luckily for him though, the rebound fell to him and he was able to score the goal on 83 minutes. That was it, the final score, Colombia 1, Bolivia 0. Paraguay vs Ecuador next to the Estadio Defensores del Chaco in Asuncion. Some penalty area pinball led to the opening goal of the game which was eventually headed in by Bruno Valdez on 12 minutes. And in the second half Paraguay were able to make it 2-0 when Junior Alonso pounced on a rebound on 65 minutes. It wasn't long before Ecuador handed an opportunity to get back into the game when a handball from a Paraguayan defender led to a penalty. And on 17 minutes, Felipe Caicedo took the penalty and scored to make it 2-1. Unfortunately for Ecuador though, they weren't able to get any more so that is how the match finished. The historic Estadio Centenario in Montevideo hosted Uruguay vs Brazil in the final game from match day 13. A bad back pass from Marcelo led to Edison Cavani getting brought down in the box and giving Uruguay a penalty. Cavani stepped up to take it himself and converted with ease on 9 minutes. Paulinho fired Brazil back into the game on 19 minutes with a rocket. In the second half, Paulinho managed to get his and Brazil's second in the 52nd minute when he was first to react to a rebound. And in the 74th minute, Neymar got himself on the score sheet to make it 3-1 to Brazil with a fantastic chip. In injury time, Brazil were 4-1 up and it was Paulinho again getting his hat-trick and scoring with his chest. Uruguay had no more response and the final score was 4-1 to Brazil. 
We start match day 14's roundup at the Estadio Monumental David Aralano in Santiago for Chile versus Venezuela. Alexis Sanchez opened the scoring after only four minutes to give Chile the lead with a brilliant free kick. Three minutes later and Chile were already 2-0 up, Ivan Paredes scoring this one. Paredes was on the score sheet again on 22 minutes to make it 3-0 to Chile. Y Paredes aprovecha el rebote en el palo. Había intervenido Alexis tras el envío de Isla y el gol. A Salomon Rondon header on 62 minutes gave Venezuela away back into the game to make it 3-1. Chile did have an opportunity to make it 4-1 later in the second half, but Alexis Sanchez's penalty was saved. The result, 3-1, if you hadn't already guessed from the uh, graphic on the screen. In the standings, Chile are fourth on 23 points behind Uruguay on goal difference, while Venezuela are now unfortunately eliminated from the competition. Ecuador hosted Colombia at the Estadio Olimpico Atajulpa in Quito, and it was Colombia taking the lead, James Rodriguez on 20 minutes. In the 34th minute, Colombia were 2 0 ahead, and it was Rodriguez, this time the provider, setting up Juan Cuadrado. The final score was 2 0 to Colombia, putting them up to second in the table on 24 points. Ecuador are in sixth on 20. Moving on to the Estadio Nacional in Lima now Peru versus Uruguay. A Carlos Sanchez volley on 30 minutes opened the scoring for Uruguay. Four minutes later, however, Peru were back in the game, with Paulo Guerrero equalising on 34 minutes. In the 62nd minute, Peru turned the result around, taking the lead thanks to a goal from Edison Flores. Uruguay were not able to get an equaliser and the game finished 2-1 to Peru. The result leaves Uruguay in third place on 23 points. The biggest shock of the round was at the Estadio Hernando Siles in La Paz where Bolivia were playing Argentina and taking the lead on 31 minutes thanks to a backwards header from Arce. Bolivia were able to make it 2-0 in the second half, Marcelo Martins given the freedom of the Argentine penalty area on 53 minutes and was able to pick his spot to make it 2-0. Despite the result, Bolivia are still unfortunately eliminated from the competition thanks to results elsewhere. Argentina are now in the playoff spot on 22 points. With Uruguay and Argentina both losing, Brazil knew that a win over Paraguay at the Arena Corinthians in Sao Paulo would see them qualify for the World Cup. In the 34th minute, this seemed like a formality as Philip Coutinho gave them the lead. In the second half, it was 2-0 to Brazil, Neymar grabbing the ball in his own half and running the length of the Paraguayan half to score on 64 minutes. The win was guaranteed with five minutes left to play, Marcelo with a great bit of skill to chip it over the keeper on 85 minutes. The final score was 3-0 to Brazil. In the league standings, Brazil are top of the table on 33 points and of course as previously stated are the first team to qualify for the 2018 World Cup other than Russia of course. That's it for this video, hope you've enjoyed, join us next time for you know more of the same, more qualifiers, there's loads of them, you know there are, like and subscribe.